Hi everyone and a warm welcome to Fun of Flying. In this video today we'll be having another long overdue look at the excellent touch portal application once again but not only that as we'll also be taking a first look at an excellent plugin for touch portal that allows you to have two-way communication with the Microsoft 2020 flight simulator. This plugin has been around for a while now, but it's something that I've only recently started looking into, and frankly, I'm glad I did. Basically, you can use this plugin to control all sorts of instruments and switches in the virtual cockpit with your iPad or cell phone. And in addition, you can actually use it to get information out of the flight simulator again, an example of which you can see here, namely the COM1, NAV1, COM2 and NAV2 radio frequencies. And the good thing about being able to get such information out of Microsoft 2020 is that you can physically display it on your iPad or cell phone in real time. In other words, if these radio frequencies change in the simulator's virtual aircraft, then they will also change on your iPad or cell, again as you can see them doing here. Now in order for all of this to work, there are a number of things that I need to show you, which are firstly, how to download and install all of the required software. Secondly, how to create basic pages in Touch Portal that you want to directly link to Microsoft 2020 using the standard plugin as it comes out of the box. And three, how to create more advanced pages using a slightly amended version of the plugin that you yourselves will adapt to your particular requirements by either changing or adding a few lines of code in one particular text file. Anyway, as there's a lot to cover, I've decided that it would be in everyone's best interest if I produced at least three videos on this going forward to explain in more detail what you have to do at each stage and this first video deals with the downloading and installation of all the required software. So let's crack on. So in this respect then, there are four specific software applications that you'll need. And the first of these is the Touch Portal desktop application itself, which as of today is version 4 build 3. This is a freeware and uh, available for Windows 10 and 11 for 64-bit only and the Mac OS X version 10.13.6 uh, or higher. Secondly, you'll need the corresponding Touch Portal application for your iPad or cell and this is available for Android version 4.1 or higher and iOS version 12.0 or higher. You can initially download the basic version of these apps for free, but you have to do this directly from your iPad or cell as required via the mobile Play Store or App Store applications. You can't do it from either of the Google Play or App Store websites that you can see here. All of the stuff on these pages is just for information only. You should be aware though that the free basic versions of Touch Portal uh, are indeed that basic and only provide a button grid array of four columns by two rows which isn't very practical when it comes to major projects. You can therefore elect to upgrade to the Touch Portal Pro version but again you have to do this directly on your iPad or cell. The cost for this here in the UK is around £13 sterling although what it costs in other countries I'm not sure. It's probably a very similar value though. The next thing you need of course is the Touch Portal plugin as mentioned before which can be downloaded free from this website. Credit here to the original software developer for this whose name was Tim Lewis and also the current developer and ongoing maintainer of this website who is a chap called Max Paperno. To get the whole plugin experience there are three lots of software code that we need to download and the first of these um, which forms the main uh, bulk of code uh, can be seen here. To start then click on the green code button and then the download zip option 
and the package will start to download onto your PC. Once the zip compressed software has been downloaded, you must decompress it and extract the whole folder as is to your local hard drive touch portal folder. Obviously you won't be able to do this though unless you've already previously installed the touch portal application onto your desktop. As far as decompressing zip files is concerned, I use the pzip application which you can download for free but there's also another well known version called winzip which is also free. Just do a quick search on the interweb and you'll find both very easily. The second file we need is the actual plugin itself, which is the one directly imported into the Touch Portal application. This is required if the user wishes to create new pages that are linked to Microsoft 2020 as per the page I showed you at the beginning of this video. This plugin comes in two versions, one for Microsoft 2020 and one for the earlier FSX Deluxe, uh, SP2 or higher and both can be found about halfway down this particular web page. Both plugin versions are completely separate entities so if required they can coexist on the same desktop if you happen to have both flight simulators running on it. However as we are only interested in the later Microsoft 2020 simulator that's the one we'll be downloading. So click on that particular TPP file version and the file will start downloading and when it has simply click on the open file option. Once you've done that the touch portal application will automatically be opened as well with a message asking if you want to import the plugin so just click yes as far as this is concerned. If you see any messages regarding whether or not you should trust the plugin i.e. trust always yes or no then select as required but trust always would be the preferred option. Okay so next as far as this uh, particular web page is concerned anyway we also need to finally download the WebAssembly SIM module or WASIM module being the short version and to do this you click on the WASIM module zip file option and once downloaded then click open file. Following this well, in my case anyway, the pzip uh, application opens automatically after which all of the file content shown here should be decompressed and extracted to the Microsoft 2020 community folder. In my experience, the Microsoft 2020 community folder seems to be buried deep within the bowels of Windows and therefore is not always easy to find for simmers just starting out. With that in mind, I've put the Windows file path on the screen just as a reference and all you need to do is to substitute my name for yours. For Mac OS X users, I guess that your file path will be something similar to this. Now for the moment, this WASIM module file is not something that you need to be concerned about or actually know anything about. Just accept that it's required for the plugin to function properly but only when we start looking at creating custom flight sim variables which is something I'll cover in future uh, in video 3. For the moment just make sure that you've got it downloaded into the Microsoft 2020 community folder as, dis as discussed just now and leave it there until we get on to the more advanced stuff. Okay so lastly uh, what you need is something called the Microsoft SimConnect SDK application which the Touch Portal plugin communicates with in order to get access to the Microsoft 2020 flight simulator itself. Now SimConnect is just one part of Microsoft's much larger software development kit um, which is what SDK stands for if you hadn't realized which really is for serious and professional programmers uh, and they use it to create or alter any number of things inside the flight simulator from aircraft to scenery and anything in between. Thankfully though you'll be pleased to know that as far as today's video is concerned that's not something that you need to get involved with at all unless of course you have a particular interest in this stuff. 
If you do, then please by all means knock yourself out as there's a massive amount of information here to assist you. If not, then let's get back to basics and go through the process of downloading the SimConnect SDK app that we need. The first thing to note is that you can't download it from this website. There's a lot of valuable information here about SimConnect, but you just can't download it from here. And frankly, this is what causes simmers a lot of confusion. OK, so where do we get it from? Well, it actually forms part of the Microsoft 2020 installation itself, which means that you have to open the flight simulator in order to get access to it. OK then, so here we are. As if by magic, we've transported ourselves into the simulator. And the first place we need to go is the general options page. You'll find a tab on here called developers, which is not something that your everyday simmer normally needs to be concerned about. Anyway, in this case, it is something that we need to use. And we do that by clicking on the developers tab and then changing its status to on. Following that, you simply load an aircraft as usual and you will immediately see a row of menu items appear at the top of the screen. These will always be visible until you turn the developers option off again uh, on the uh, general options page. Now, most of this stuff is again not something that we need to be concerned about unless you're a professional programmer working with the SDK as a whole. All we need to download is the SimConnect SDK part of the package just to make our Touch Portal plugin function correctly. And we do that by initially clicking on the Help tab and then on the SDK Installer Core option from the drop-down box. Once you've done that, the SimConnect Core files will start downloading to your computer. And when finished, you'll simply click on the open file um, to start the installation process. Just follow the instructions as required and you'll end up with all of the relevant files installed in the root of your local C drive as shown here. OK, so that's a lot of stuff to take in. But to recap, these are the downloads required. Firstly, we need the main Touch Portal application for your desktop. Uh, secondly, we need the Touch Portal applications for your mobile device, whatever that happens to be. Thirdly, we need the uh, Touch Portal plugin, which is made up of a number of core files, the plugin file and this uh, WASIM module file. Um, which we discussed earlier. And then lastly, number four, we need the SimConnect SDK files, which you access through uh, Microsoft 2020 itself. Now it is of course hoped that with the aid of this video, you will soon be able to complete each download and installation process in turn without too much difficulty, and maybe you already have. However, once you've done all that, you will then be in a position to start creating basic pages in Touch Portal that can either send instructions into the Microsoft Flight Simulator or to get information back out again. In my next video, part two then, I'll be showing you how to do the latter in order that you too can start creating pages like the one on the screen. Obviously this page isn't anything fancy, it's just something I put together quickly for the purpose of this video and it's obviously for demonstration purposes only. In video part 3 I'll be going on to more advanced options and then I'll probably post a part 4 as well dealing with sending instructions from your iPad or cell into the simulator itself. In the meantime, I hope that you found this video of some interest and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to assist you. Lastly, a big thank you for your continued support of my Fun of Flying channel and if you're interested in seeing more content in future, please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button as this really does help with the old YouTube algorithm. Thanks again and ta-ta for now.